Welcome to the part 4 of this series. Today we'll add a muzzle flash, a bullet impact particle system, and if you have time we'll also add some sounds to the gun. Let's start by going to Unity Store and let's search for War FX and let's select this one. It's free and you have some cool muzzle flash and impact prefabs. I will leave the link in the description. Just go ahead and click add my assets. If it asks to log in into your Unity account, just do so. And open it on Unity. And click on here, import. It will take a second. You can select everything and click import. You can create your own effects if you want to, or maybe there's other ones that are paid. But for this tutorial, we will use these ones. They are free and they are pretty good in my opinion. When they are imported, you'll see a new folder here. Let's open it. Let's go to War FX, Effects, Bullet Impact, and let's select the one that says Concrete. If you drag it on the scene, you'll see it here. Create some cool collision effect. We'll be using this, and for the muzzle flash, let's go to War FX, Effects, Muzzle Flash, FPS. And let's select the FPS rifle tree, like so. We'll be using these two. Let's start by dragging the muzzle flash into our weapon and position it on the end of the barrel. Let me flip it. 180 degrees, like so. And yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, that looks perfect. You can see it on the game window, how it will look like. Yeah, that's cool. And now, and now let's implement it in our script. Let's open our scripts. And let's create another variable here, serializable field, private, game object, uh, muzzle, muzzle flash, sorry, not game object, a particle system, muzzle flash. And let's go down here and muzzle flash dot play. Uh, sorry, don't put it here, just control X here and paste it. And you can paste it here, yeah, it's fine. Uh, here you need to select our muzzle prefab and drag it to the slot. Also need to change some things here. The duration set it to 0 0.16. Make sure looping is off. And remove play on awake. Also delete the script. Go to uh, light and deactivate it. Here on the glow, do the same thing 0 0.16. Remove the looping. On the sparks again 0 0.16 and remove the looping so it plays only once like so now save it and uh, apply all and if you now try to run the game 
you'll have a nice muzzle flash and some bullet impacts with the particle system. Now let's add some sounds to it. For our weapon sound I'll be using this one. I'll give the link, it will be in the description. Download the WAV file and import it to our project. Let's create a new folder here called sounds and let's just drag it there. And now let's implement it in our script. Let's create a new variable again. Visualizable field, private, audio source, uh, shoot sound. And let's scroll down and near the muzzle flash we write shoot sound dot play. Like so. Now on Unity. We select our player, right click, audio, audio source, and drag our clip into the audio clip and remove play on awake. And let's test it out. An arrow, parameter name, source, value cannot be no. Right, we forget to drag it there. Should work now. It works, but it's incredible loud. So let's decrease the sound a bit. Here on the volume, just decrease it. And there you go. We now have sound, a muzzle flash, and particle system. We just need some animations to reload the weapon. And that will be quite good. So yeah, in the next tutorial we'll be creating some animations to reload the weapon and maybe, if we have time, a uh, recoil pattern so they don't go always dead center. If you have any suggestions that you'd like to see on this series, leave them down below. Also, I just sold my graphic card, my graphics card, so it's quite hard for me to record now. This took me three days because it keeps crashing, and you, if you can see our when I play the game, the video kind of stutters. I'll get the new graphics cards when they come out. I'm waiting for the RTX 3080. It should be one or two weeks. Not sure yet, but yeah, I also leave my link to our to my Discord. If you have any questions, you can go there and ask me, and I will also update there how long it will take for me to create new videos and all that. So yeah, if you like this series so far, and you want to follow, subscribe and like. See you on the next video.